Hi, welcome again to uh, 4GWE.com.info, all the other places that you can find out uh, more information about uh, what's going on with the 4G wireless evolution. But today, I'm going to make it so that we're talking about asynchronous voice in a different way. I'd like to introduce you to my friends in the, in the um, asynchronous voice space. They're called Hallmark. And um, here, let me show you what they've done. Pretty cool, huh? So you're allowed to record your voice on this stuff. They actually have uh, now books where you can record the book and have it so that your voice is with your, your, um, with your kids. And I know of one person who actually used this to uh, record their parents for their children. So the grandparents' voice is now um, reading the book to them. Uh, very cool stuff. But more importantly than that, it's, it's kind of telling us to what's happening with voice in general in the fact that um, there's some processing power here going on and there's some recording and then of course you mail this which is hardly a, um, a convenient way to do this but I will remind you that in the ITF there is a standard for um, IP over carrier pigeon it's a joke but it's there um, and the point of the matter is that you um, can take this packet uh, literally uh, digitized voice and, and take this packet, put it in an envelope, and mail it. Uh, so it's just like IP in a lot of ways. And the funny thing is we're seeing this kind of uh, voice strategy going on in other places too. Uh, there's a lot of asynchronous voice going on in um, Facebook, uh, a lot of it being associated with video on YouTube and that kind of stuff. And we should expect that this trend's continuing. And the impact is that it may be that the whole communications model eventually, particularly with HTML5, is going to be p kind of made more asynchronous in how we do things. You know, when, the, uh, when SIP became the protocol standard we were working on, it starts with the word session. It's the session initiated protocol. And the concept is that you have a two-way dialogue going on. But the truth of the matter is processing is getting so fast and things are happening so quickly that it's possible now to sit there and take the one side of the voice and treat it as if it's a totally separate FTP over to the other side. Now, that's not what the communication providers are doing, but it is what's happening in the overall network of people communicating to each other. So it's an important trend to follow, and I just want to make you aware of it. And I look forward to seeing more apps like that. If anybody's got an app example like this card, I'd love to. S I'd love to get an email from them. It's Carl at. I'm sorry. It's C Ford at 4GWE.com. Works, and uh, you can also send to me Carl.Ford at gmail.com, or any other of my uh, thousands of email addresses. So uh, I look forward to talking to you all, and thanks for listening.